The next thing we are going to do is uh, putting a background color uh, with the transparent and the gradient effect to this chart. How can we do that? Let's move back to the code. So as someone, assume you are someone fresh to this library, you might be guessing, hey, they probably, probably there is an attribute called background color. And uh, you simply put that CSS linear gradient in and that should be working. Um, let's give it a go. So let's try some solid number first. To same color. And then we go back to the to the chart. Okay, solid color is working. Then how about gradient effect? Uh, let's give it a try. So if we give a a linear back a linear gradient, linear gradient. Is a CSS attribute um, from black to white. See if that works. No, it's not working, unfortunately. Then what can we do? Um, if if you are someone who is fresh to the framework, you might probably go back to the document page, find the corresponding line chart and find the background and look at the type. Just go into it, <clears throat> see what types it actually takes. So the document mentioned our alternative option is to pass canvas pattern or canvas gradient. I believe the canvas gradient is what we want. So what is that? How do we create a canvas gradient? We need to find the context the two dimension and the call method create linear gradient. So let us go back. What is charges? Charges is a canvas based library. Uh, comparing to SVG based, um, the building block is pixel. So you can imagine uh, from your computer screen, actually uh, every pixel is is rendering in different color altogether uh, is presenting an image to you. That's how canvas works. And the canvas context two dimension is an object where you can call different methods like a create linear gradient or things like that and the rendering the the effect as you want so every canvas has a 2 2d context right um how do we get the 2d context the first way so from here i'm using ref say i name it as a chart ref there'll be undefined error because it's not plain uh yeah then we define it here chart ref equals react create ref and let's see let's see what we have Okay, we got an object, and the object is current, nine context, all right, and the chart instance. But what we need is a context, and from here, you can find it, CTX uh, context is right on the chart instance. So this gives you a hint um, from here, I assume you can do what you can do is chart uh, for example um, we define a gradient equals chart ref dot current and is chart 
instance dot ctx right uh, dot create linear gradient blah 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 something like this this is one way but what I'm going to show you is a different way rather than using react ref we can actually alter the sample data to be a function and pass that to be an arrow function which returns Return, returns this JSON object here. From here, you can take the canvas. To save our time, I simply copy paste the code here. Let me explain a little bit. Um, so you get the context from canvas dot get context two D, and where is the canvas from? It's passed through uh, nine chart into sample data library. So from here, you get a gradient element. And remember, there are two places where you can customize style. Not only just the options, but from the data data sets as well. So from here, you can put background color gradient and then remove the background here. Let's move back to the line chart. See, that's working. The chart 80% uh, customized and it's looking great. But the problem is, you see the tool tips. Uh, that's very simple. Um, it doesn't do the job uh, we want. We need some um, language to explain, hey, the trend is going down, the price is going down as time goes by, things like that. So how can we uh, make our customized tool tips? Um, it's it's, it's way, way more complex than this, and I'll put in a separate video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. And uh, if you think this is worthy, um, please buy me a coffee. Um, here's a link underneath. And the source code has been provided. Cool. See you guys in the next video.